Happy Wednesday, church family. It's Pastor Eric here for today's 8 at 8. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let's rejoice. Let's make a choice today on this Wednesday, this hump day, to be grateful and joyful and be glad in it today. I'm so grateful that we get to spend this time together in praying, whether you're watching this live or whether, you're, whether this is pre-recorded and you're watching it later. The cool thing is the presence of God is still here. He can still work in our lives, even though we're watching this later, because I mean, that's what the Word of God is. The Word of God was pre-recorded and it still speaks to us in our very present situations today. And so today we're going to take some time to pray as we typically do. But before that, I want to make sure that, um, that we did not miss what the Holy Spirit of God was trying to get to us this past Sunday as we concluded our series, Locally Grown. We talked through Galatians and the fruit of the Spirit, how it's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control is what we talked about this Sunday. And as we talk through these fruit, we, we talked about uh, not how it's simply just for us to grow more and more to his image, but for us to give that away. And that's why self-control is so important. And self-control, uh, physically what it is, it's the ability to say no to things that are no good or that aren't going to grow us. But spiritually, what self-control is, is an inward strength, uh, an inward power, because we know who's in control. Self-control is asking about who's in control of my life right now. We talked through a lot of practical things, but l let me tell you what has helped me. About four weeks ago, Pastor Johnny said something, just a random part of one of our services, and it just hit me and I wrote it down. And it, was, it, it had to deal with, with gratitude. And of course, as, as the people of God, we, we always want to give thanks to God for who he is, but, but that's helped me in my self-control. When, when I intentionally stop to Thank God for what He's given me, and I, I've been I've been making an effort to do that very intentionally with my children, with my family, in my prayer. It's not, hey, thank you God for this food, thank you God for this day, but or thank you, thank you that I have breath in my lungs today, thank you that that I have a family that is healthy, that my children are learning in school, that I have a wife who supports me, that we have a healthy marriage. Thank you, God, for this incredible church family and people who are getting it. And, and when I take that time to be very intentional in my gratitude, it helps me to understand and know who's in control. It's not me. I, I, I could not have possibly produced any of this on my own strength. It's him. And so maybe that will help you today as it's helped me as, as we wrestle through what this fruit of, of self-control looks like. Can I tell you, it's not just when we give him the next thing that we grow in self-control, but when we give God thanks for everything that we understand that he is in control. And so we have a lot to give God thanks for. And so would you do me the favor right now? Let's just be intentional like we were this past Sunday of giving the next thing to God. Would you just... In the comments right now, just give God thanks for something in your life or several things in your life. I, I want to see that that list just being spammed right now and, and, and everything that we are grateful for. It's that little step, that little uh, uh, giving that to God that helps us to understand that he is in control. And I'm believing that as we give God gratitude today, that he's going to open up our heart, open up our eyes to see the opportunities that he set before us, that we would steward those well. So let us know. Continue to let us know what you're thankful for. And, and as you are doing that, I want to take some time to pray. Um, we have some prayer requests that were, were given via uh, our prayer wall at thelocalchurch.com slash prayer. Uh, one of them is for Nikki. Her cousin is in the hospital fighting for her life. We, we found out about this early Sunday morning. We prayed about it during all three of our services. So Nikki, we're going to continue to pray for your cousin, believing that God is going to restore her, give her hope, give you hope that, that you are not in this alone. I want to pray for Gregorio. Uh, he had surgery yesterday. Let's pray that God just uh, uh, continues to bring healing in his life and that it goes without any sort of complications. Um, let's pray for Jesse, who just tested positive for COVID, that God would give him strength, that God would give him hope and healing in this situation. And if there's any other prayer requests, go ahead and drop them down in our comments. We, we read them all. We pray for every single one. And the great thing is God hears, God knows, God cares. And so we're going to pray that he answers. But what I want to pray also on top of these specifically for is for us as we head into this new season, this new teaching series where we're going to be sharing a whole lot of good news. I want to pray that God would help us 
to give that away, that we don't just hold it to ourselves, that this fruit isn't just so that we can hoard all this goodness that God has grown, but that we would give it away. And, and hopefully you have your, 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 your invite cards, those seeds that God has given you. In my wallet, I always carry an invite, so like I'll prove it to you right now. I got... Oh gosh. Okay. I gave the last one away. Shame on me. Uh, so I got to restock that. I got to reload that because I, I pray, God, give me an opportunity to invite someone today. And so all of you, you have five seeds this week to, to go ahead and to do that. And so I'm praying that God would give you boldness, that God would, would open up your eyes to see the opportunities that you have to invest and invite so that someone this weekend, because of your invitation, that they could experience the good news of forever and the good news of today that's found in Jesus. So I want to pray for that. I want to pray for your boldness. I want to pray for opportunities that this Sunday we would see so much life change and transformation. It's all because of the good news that God has done in our life for their lives. So let me pray together right now. Father, thank you. Thank you, God, that you are here with us, that you hear us and that you answer us, God. And we're just so grateful um, that we can come together and we know that we're not in this alone, that right now through technology, we're able to pray with uh, people all across the city on various different platforms right now, but more importantly, that we're connected to you, that you hear us and that you answer according to your will. And so, Father, we lift up all these prayers, all the prayer requests that were, were, were given today. God, I pray that you would meet every need, that you would meet people where they're at, that they would know that, that, that you are walking with them through every single storm and that you are the reason why we have everything that is good. I pray for Gregorio that you would continue to bring healing and hope into his life, Father. I pray for Nikki's cousin, Jesus, that you would just bring her out of that situation and she would know, Lord, that, that God, it's been you who's, who's met her every need. Lord, we pray for, for Jesse, who is uh, uh, going through COVID right now, and for every everyone else in our church family who may be suffering from COVID, God, that you would just bring quick healing and restoration, Father. I pray for a spirit of protection and provision upon us, God. And I pray, Jesus, for, for us right now. I pray for everyone who's joining with us in this prayer, that, God, you would just give us, by your Holy Spirit, a sense of urgency, a sense of, of excitement for the good news that, that you have given to us, God, and, and that, God, a sense of mission that we would have, that today we would see opportunities to invite those who are without hope, our neighbors who, who are struggling, our, our, our friends and our family, God, who, who we know just need your good news. Would you use us to be catalysts and vessels to invite them so that this Sunday they can hear about the gospel, the good news that you have given to us that not just changes our eternity, we're so grateful for that, but also our today. And so Lord, use us, help us not to be ashamed, help us not to be selfish and, and, and not practice self-control, God, but to freely give away all that you have given to us. And God, we're excited to see what happens through that, for the lives that are transformed, for the prayers that are answered, for the hope that is given, believing the best is still before us. Thank you, Jesus. We lift up all these prayers to you. In your name we pray. Amen. Love you, Church Familia. I'm excited for this week. And listen, I can't share much with you, but I can tell you that you do not want to miss. And so if you call this your Church Familia, I want to encourage you to come to the 9 o'clock or the 12 o'clock. Make that missionary move so we can create more space for visitors and guests who are coming because God is going to do something great in us and through us together as his people and a church. And you don't want to miss it this Sunday. So I love you guys. I'll see you this Sunday as we prepare for good news. Be a vessel of giving that away this week. God's with you. God's got you. The best is still before us. Okay.